Hey, what's up guys? Dustin Williams here with Dustin Williams Performance and Precision Fitness and want to talk to you about uh, number three of my biggest nutrition myths of 2019 and that is that eggs are bad for you. All right, this one has been blown up recently. Uh, one thing that the media is really, really good at doing is taking something that has potentially really good benefits and scaring the crap out of you and not making you eat it um, and just kind of blowing things out of proportion in general. Here's the thing, if you start looking at the research around eggs, the first thing is that there are no direct studies showing that egg consumption causes cardiovascular disease. There are none, all right? Essentially what's happening here is that it is implied. There are some studies that show a minor, potentially, a minor increase in blood cholesterol levels, and because there is a minor increase, they are automatically assuming that that leads to a, a, an increase, of possibly, of cardiovascular disease. All right? Doesn't mean that that's definitely the case. Here's the thing. When they did some of these studies, they took healthy individuals um, and they had them eat six eggs per day, which is more than what most people are doing. I know that a lot of times the average for eggs are like one to two in a day. Uh, for this one, they took six eggs per day. And what they found is that the majority of these healthy people actually saw no change in their blood cholesterol levels. Only a minority actually saw a change. And even then, the change wasn't super significant. The point being is that everything is all just assumed. There are no direct links, there are no direct studies. Um, and just understanding that you should not be afraid of having uh, one or two eggs in your diet, especially if you're relatively healthy. Um, this connection has just been severely inflated. And whenever it comes to eggs, it's a great source of protein, it's a great source of fat. Also, it's a really good source of uh, your B vitamins, specifically in biotin, also with choline, which can be uh, harder to get from your diet. Not including, it's a great source of selenium as well. Selenium being very important to your antioxidant system and for thyroid production. So lots, lots of uh, chock full of, of micronutrients, as well as a good source of the proteins and fats. Don't be afraid to add a couple of eggs in your diets. And if you need to see any of the research or the studies, uh, you can send me a PM, I'll be happy to send you the stuff that I've got. Otherwise, don't be afraid of eggs.